Hi everybody, my name is Mr. Campbell and I am the principal of Kelsey Peak Virtual Middle School. Today I'm going to show you how to log into Skyward, check for missing assignments, and check for grades. The first thing that you'll want to do is navigate to Skyward. But as a parent, your login is different. It's something that you create. If you've forgotten your password, don't remember what it is, need to set it up for the first time, you can contact the Jordan District Help Desk and they will help you reset it. That number is right here, 801 567-8737. I will put that on the screen as well. So if I click this link right here, it's going to open up the Skyward login page. This is where I would have my student access or family student access. You'll see right there. When I click on sign in, it's going to take me to my Skyward homepage. If I have multiple children in Skyward or in Jordan School District, you'll see that I have access to all of my students and all of the messages will be coming in. It's a lot of information right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate up here to the top where it says all students and select one of my children. When I select Cohen, you'll see here that all of the messages come up here, but I have access to all of these different things on the left, including fee management, schedule, busing, attendance, all of those different things. But today we're going to focus on the grade book. So when I click on Gradebook, it's going to pull up all of his classes and including his grades in Skyward. When we log in, we have a couple different things that you'll need to be aware of. One over here is all of your classes and teachers. You'll have a citizenship grade here, a quarter one grade here. Up at the top, you'll have missing assignments. These are assignments that have not been turned in or have zeros. If I click on one of these assignments, It'll actually take me to that class assignment or class grade and give me the details on what that assignment looks like. You'll see here it'll have a due date. This was due on Friday, October 1st. My son scored a zero out of one. It shows that it was missing with the check mark right there. If I wanted to show all missing assignments in a list view, I can click here and I can actually print this document out. Viewing the missing assignments is great, but actually going into the grade and showing how that affects the grade is even better. So if I go to another one of my students, he has some missing assignments. And so when I click here on this grade, it'll actually give a breakdown of this class and all of the assignments that are due in this specific class. And so I can go through and I can see which ones are missing. So there was an assignment here, which is the name design Dropbox that he or did not turn in or did not complete. And when I click on this, it'll pull up that little window like we had before. It shows me that he got a score zero out of four. Its check mark is missing. That's something that I would want to have my son do or turn in or complete. You'll also notice here when I get into the class grade, it'll give me a breakdown of how that grade is calculated between starters, classwork, and projects. So 30% of the grade is classwork, 60% of the grade is projects, and 10% of the grades are starters. So if I'm looking at something that's going to have the most impact on improving my son's grade, this name design Dropbox is the assignment or the work that I would want them to focus on, not necessarily this Friday sketchbook assignment. Now, I as a parent would have them do both, but I want to have them spend time doing this here. If we go to another class, we can see here in science, we have some missing assignments here. You can see that those have a check mark here. And you'll also see again the breakdown. Citizenship is 5% of the grade. Assignment is 25%. Assessment is 70%. We can see all of the different assignments here. We can see assessments here and our citizenship is down here. So instead of just looking at our list of missing assignments, when I click show all again, this is going to give me a list. What we want to do is we really want to nail down as a parent or guardian and find out what's having the most impact on that grade. It's generally going to be assessments. The other thing that you'll notice here is the class and the teacher. If I click on the teacher's name, it will allow me to email that teacher directly straight from here. I can click here, click on that email. It'll open up a email. I can also click on the class. It'll give me information about the class, when it starts, what room it is, what day it's offered. If you have a high school student, they have A days and B days. Maybe you have a modified block schedule at your school, and so this would look a little bit different. But this gives you overall general information about the individual class. If you have individual questions about Skyward, I recommend that you reach out to your teachers through email or phone call. Again, if you need a login, um, or to reset your login and password for Skyward. 
Again, if you need to reset your login or password for Skyward, that number is right here.